Jeremy, what did it mean to you to come to the Garden tonight to have that kind of outing and to come away with a win? Uh, we're just thank jeez. Um, we're just thankful to get the win. Um, and uh, it was a lot of fun playing out there. And uh, you know, I, I think our team uh, we we took a step in the right direction. And uh, for me, uh, it was it was great to be back, and uh, it was a lot of fun to play on that court again. Jeremy, second time you've guys played them, two games, double digit wins. What is it about the way you match up with them that gives you guys such an advantage so far? Uh, I mean, well, today, I mean, they're they're not their full team. They're missing, uh, you know, very key guys, um, and I think. Uh, Right at the top of the list is Shump. Um, you know he's uh, he's he's definitely a difference maker, and obviously uh, Carmelo and Amari didn't play tonight. Um, so you know from that end, uh, they, they're definitely not their full team. And uh, you know for us, we just try to really space, uh, play fast, play quick, and uh, you know move the ball side to side. What did you make of the uh, reception? You got cheered during the introductions, and then as the game went on, you were kind of getting booed more. How'd you feel about all that? Uh, it, was, it was fine. Uh, <laughs> had uh, I had fun out there, and uh, I'm thankful to the fans. I know uh, a lot of people showed out um, and uh, you know supported and and you know wore uh, you know my old jersey and things like that. So uh, still thankful to the fans. Uh, you know, I it was actually a lot better than I thought. Jeremy, you and you and Tyson had a good relationship when you were here, but you got a couple of hard fouls out there. Did he? Say anything to you. Say anything to him after the game. About yeah, the I mean, we just we know it's with competition. At the end of the day, you know, I totally understand when someone comes in your lane, you want to make sure uh, they think twice about coming back. Um, so he hit me hard. Um, I still kept coming though, um, but uh, it was just fun. Uh, it was fun. It was uh, it was friendly. It wasn't malicious, and uh, you know, I got to talk to him after the game. And uh, you know, like I said earlier, he was like a, he was like a big brother to me last year, and so um, it was fun to play again with him. Jeremy, did you get a chance to talk with Carmelo Anthony and Coach Woodson before the game at all? Any uh, no, any I didn't words get a them? chance to speak to them. I, I don't, I haven't seen him uh, besides Coach on the sidelines. Jeremy, when you were having such a good game, was there any thoughts that went through your head like, "Hey, this is like the uh, thirty-five game run last year"? The oh, um, not really. Uh, <laughs> Where, you know, I'm in a very different place now, um, and my mindset's very different as well. And so, uh, you know, I, I've moved on; they've moved on, and uh, you know, you know, we have uh, we have good memories. And uh, but, you know, at the same at the same time, you know, we're all in a different place now. From an offensive uh, perspective, when you see that uh, both you and James are able to coexist and, and play well tonight, do you feel like you figured something out tonight? And if so, I'm curious, just what specifically you think that might have been? Uh, absolutely, I think. Um, Tonight, I think we complement each other really well, um, and uh, I think that's really important uh, uh, for us, for both of us to be aggressive, to find our spots, pick our pick our uh, times, and and um, feed the hot hand. And so I think tonight we did a good job. Definitely a big step in the right direction in terms of uh, figuring it out. But uh, you know, it's early. It's st really is still early, and uh, I have a lot to learn in terms of playing with him. And likewise. I know you've sort of been a, a tough critic of yourself, especially this week. Do you think that tonight's game might have uh, might have been a, a step toward turning around some of the frustrations of Toronto and, and before? Yeah, I hope so. Um, you know, this is something that, uh, you know, definitely gives a little momentum. But um, the story of our season has been win two, drop two, win three, drop three, things like that. And so um, we got to make sure, I got to make sure that we keep, uh, we keep pushing forward and, uh, you know, that we don't get complacent.